everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine, and I'm here to report for some news, some music news for my five minute uh, music news report. Now, we're going to be talking about Nicki Minaj and her husband and his arrest. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I'm really doing my best to build this channel back up. Um, I do have a second channel. If you like soaps and drama, you can go ahead and subscribe to that, please. We just made the past the 20,000 mark. Thank goodness. And now we got that climb to 25k, but this channel only has 400. We ain't got the 500 subscribers yet. So please, 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 if you haven't done so, subscribe. I am going to be your number one source for entertainment, everything. But let's go on ahead and talk about uh, Nicki Minaj and her husband. Basically, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna recap it for you. Um, TMZ broke the story that Nicki Minaj's husband was arrested for not registering as a sex offender in um, California. He is a registered sex offender in, in New York, but once he moved with Nikki to California, he was supposed to register there too. Um, he was pulled over by the Beverly Hills Police Department and they um, realized that he was registered in New York, not California, and so he was um, had to pay a $20,000 bond and um, to get out, and he all he had to do was register as a sex offender in California, but he still didn't do it. So now he's turned himself in to um, to be once again arrested, and um, it's because after he was told once again to register as a sex offender, he did. <laughs> and now here we are. Um, he can face up to 10 years in prison. And so, um, I feel sorry for Nikki because I have no, you know, sympathy, empathy for rapists at all. Um, if you know my history, you know I was molested as a kid. So when it comes to rapists, they can't go far enough under the jail. However, her husband, Kenneth Petty, was 15 years old. And the girl was 16. <laughs> and she was older than him. He was 15. She was 16. Um, she wasn't, uh, I think her parents were on crack. According to the stories I've read, her parents were on crack. So she was in like a foster home or with another family that was very religious. When she got caught sneaking out, um, she cried rape. And so he also didn't have family. He had a public defender. They said you can do, I think, four or five years in, in um, New York uh, penitentiary or, or New York prison, whatever it is. In, um, I think he was in Rikers. Or you can get 20 years if you go, or if you go to trial. So you tell this to a 15-year-old kid without good representation and a public defender that is like... Um, Look, kid, take the deal. She, you, you don't want to be doing 20, get out of jail in 35. And with no one really there to protect his interests and not having a lawyer that could really say this is crazy. He's 15, she's 16. Everyone in the neighborhood knew that was his girlfriend. We've all been 15 and 16 at some point in time. Um, and I actually, I actually can't say this is a situation and then his charge that he was charged with was attempted rape it wasn't even rape rape <laughs> so he has to register for the sex as a sex offender for the rest of his life um for attempted rape um of his 16 year old girlfriend and i just feel there's more to the story and you know so i can't take my feelings of what happened to me as a kid and put that on him as oh he's a rapist he's this he's that because i i believe him you know i believe that he was just railroaded by, by the justice system you know and i know that probably makes it hard for him to bite that bullet and you know register as a sex offender when he probably feel like he didn't do anything wrong um, but it is what it is. Your wife's Nicki Minaj. You never have to work a day again in your life if you don't want to. 
And because she obviously loves you when you see them together, she obviously loves you. So, you know, I can understand a person not wanting to register a sex offender because it may affect them getting a job or something like that. Um, but in this situation, I think that um, you just register, you know, bite the bullet and just, you know, keep going with your life. But we'll see what happens. He goes to court today, March 4th. And um, we'll see, is he going <coughs> to get up to 10 years in jail? Or are they going to give him a slap on the wrist and send him home with his wife? Thanks for watching. I'm Phoenix Tremaine. And let me know in the comment section what you think about this story.